Well, hello, welcome back to Tail Three Cabins. I just wanted to give a quick update. I'm going to be choosing a winner this morning when this video is coming out, December 6th, 9 a.m. That'll be the last time I take comments, and one lucky winner will get this gas detector. If you recall, I did a gift guide video last week. I did about 10 decent gifts for the tractor owner, RV owner, rural living owner, um, and I got a lot of great comments on that video. So I appreciate everybody who watched it, left a comment, and hopefully somebody will win this in a week or so. And what I'll do is I'll choose the name when this video comes out, and I'll notify who won on the following video, which is going to be December 13th. But for now, let's just go back to our dramatic conclusion of our Out West trip already in progress on this channel. Is it your house? Then go poop in your own yard. Come on. Well, good morning. We left the Grand Teton yesterday morning. We ended up just east, northeast of Utah. We're close to the border of Colorado, and we're just outside of Dinosaur National Monument. We stopped there last night, but didn't have a lot of time to go through it. We really could have used another day to check things out. One of the exhibits closed just before we got there, which would have been where they're doing an active dig. And that would have been pretty neat to see. If you're in this area, though, give yourself a good day to check it out. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of neat rock formations, a lot of pretty scenery. Stopping at the visitor center, there's a guided trail that you could take, a guided drive that you can take. You check out the pictographs that are dating back to well over a thousand years old. There's a couple areas you can check these out. Journal. 
We're just spending one night at the Outlaw Trail RV Park. The people are very friendly here. They have full hookups. It's basically just a very large gravel parking area. There is a grassy playground area for kids and a dog park. I'm out here walking Willow right now before we pick up our stabilizers again. And we're going to start heading, actually we're going to start heading east. So we're going to start heading towards home. We're going to be probably stopping at Estes State Park. I think we're going to spend about three, four days there just to kind of regroup, do some laundry. A little exhausting when you're on the move constantly. And then um, we thought after the Grand Tetons that we would maybe head towards the national parks in Utah. And Salt Lake City had a temp of 104 yesterday and they got a pretty good heat wave going on. And we're just a little bit tired of the heat right now. So we're gonna head towards higher elevation. That's why we're heading toward Estes Park in Colorado. I am a little bit concerned. My car is starting to give me some issues. Uh, my truck is starting to misfire quite a bit, especially when we're towing a trailer, towing it when we're up in the mountains and going up and down hills. So um, I'm not sure what the issue is with it. It could just be a bad spark plug, could just be a simple tune-up issue, and I'm hoping that's all it is. I talked to a mechanic friend of mine who works on the fire department still. And he thinks that I could probably baby at home. It's just an inconvenience right now. So what I've been doing is shifting manually to lower gears to try to help it from misfiring. And that seems to work, but it takes a lot of concentration, especially going up and through the mountains. Um, a lot of twists and turns, a lot of up and down hill, steep grades. So it takes a lot of concentration, especially with the trailer back there. It's not that relaxing of a drive. Once we get down past Denver on our way back and we're down on flat land and a little lower elevation, I'm hoping that maybe it's gonna misfire a little bit less and we can maybe get it home and get a tune up. But for now, that's the update. I'm gonna get Willow back to the trailer. We're gonna hook things up and we're gonna get out of here and start heading east. To get to our next campground, we had to enter Rocky Mountain National Park on the western side, go up 12,000 feet in elevation, and come down the backside into Estes Park. That was pretty much a white knuckler all the way up and down. Coming up wasn't too bad weather-wise. It was clear, sunny, and then coming down the backside was very, very misty, rainy. We were in fog most of the time coming down the backside. There were a lot of areas on this road that if the back tire were to come off of it of your trailer, it would probably just pull you down the mountainside. After that drive through the mountains, it was a good day just to recharge a little bit. We weren't going to be going into the park because of the weather and there's a lot of timed entry now. To avoid this, tomorrow we're going to go into the park at 6 a.m. and shouldn't have to worry about it. And then Monday we have timed entry scheduled for the Bear Lake area. With this downtime, I decided to go into Estes Park and I found an O'Reilly's Auto Parts store. And I was able to pick up a set of spark plugs. I just couldn't take the misfiring anymore and was worried I was maybe doing some damage to my engine. So I'm going to replace the spark plugs and hopefully that is going to be the issue. Now the first one that I took out didn't look too bad and I was kind of comparing the gap and everything. And so far it looks alright. It's got 100,000 miles on it. I'm really hoping I don't need to replace the points. These don't look that bad either. I was checking it for scoring or any damage to them and so far they look alright. If I got to replace these, it's a pretty big expense that I don't want to worry about while we're out here on the road. Now, I went online and checked the diagram of my cylinders, and this is the number three plug. And this is the one that I had the error code for. And if you look, I got a crack in the porcelain on this plug. So I'm hoping and I'm crossing my fingers that this is the issue. It seems like everything is pointing to that cylinder and that plug appears to be damaged. I do carry a socket set with me, but I did not have an extension long enough to get these plugs back in, so I had to buy one from O'Reilly's. It wasn't a perfect fit. It was a little tedious getting it back in, but it just took a little longer. I'll cut to the chase and just let you know that that was the issue. Coming home we did not have one misfire and the truck has been running pretty good. A few more odds and ends to take care of today and then tomorrow morning we're going to go head into the park.
Coyotes are usually pretty elusive, and what you see them, you usually don't see them for long, but this one hung with us for about 20 minutes. And I thought I would try my surefire coyote call to see if it would have any effect on it. Meep, meep. Meep, meep. Like most national park areas, the camera really does not do it justice how large of scale these mountains are, how high up you are. It just can't capture that on the lens. We thought this would be a good time to catch up to our map. These are only states that we visited with the RV so far. Since the beginning of our trip, we've been keeping a list of things that we probably need to buy or forgot to bring. After our trip up in the mountains, we went into Estes Park. This hotel's claim to fame is the one inspired by Stephen King to write The Shining. We had a rock hit us when we were in Utah, coming into Colorado, and we thought nothing of it until we hit some frost in the morning and then warm temperatures in the afternoon, which created this crack to form halfway across our windshield. This would be a $500 repair that could wait till we get home. Next day we have our timed entry to arrive into the park at 4 p.m. We'll be spending the yes. evening there. Uh, we've got him. Uh, I think we're good. Lower left? Okay. Oh, that That'll would be work. good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It was a great evening in the park, and it looks like everybody had the same idea to come out and watch some wildlife as the sun was going down. It's the next morning, we're going to pack up and head back on the road, and we have a few decisions to make on exactly where we're going to next. Well, good morning. We left Estes Park, Colorado around 8.30 in the morning, and we planned on doing something that we don't normally do, and that's drive about 12 hours. And I don't know if I'm regretting it this morning or not, but we did it. We arrived here in Kansas City, Kansas at 9.30 at night. We lost an hour with the time change. We're staying at a Cabela's back here. I don't know if you can see it or not. But we pulled into this parking lot about 9.30. And the reason we went a longer distance than usual, one, once we got out of the mountains and got out of Denver's traffic, 
it's a pretty easy ride on 70 just heading due east there's really not much to think about and the other thing was it was 97 degrees most of the time through kansas and if we would arrive somewhere we knew we were going to be boondocking and if we would have arrived somewhere at about two three o'clock in the afternoon we would have been sitting there in 90 degree heat in a hot box trying to keep our dog cool so we thought we would just keep driving enjoy the air conditioning of our truck just push it until we got somewhere to about nine o'clock at night and hopefully things would cool off and for the most part it did the drive on 70 wasn't too bad a little bit of a crosswind coming out of the south but that was just a little bit of swaying not too much of an issue and then uh, once we arrived here it was about 73 degrees i think it cooled off to about 64 at for the low overnight so that wasn't too bad it worked out we're all hooked up we're ready to go we're going to move on and we're going to start heading towards st louis it shouldn't be too bad of a ride compared to yesterday so we're almost all set to go and uh see you in st louis rv park just over the river part of a casino in the neighborhood isn't that great we decided just to stay hooked up. We're only staying overnight. We'll be moving on in the morning. But it did have a nice view of the arch. So from one arch to a more familiar arch for us. Yep, we're back in our home state of Ohio. We're staying near Dayton. One more day and we'll be back at home. Karen's brother and sister-in-law stopped by. They brought dinner with them. It was nice to catch up. And the next day we packed up again, moving on and back at home. We had thought Will would be the happiest on, to be go. home, let's but I outside. think she wanted to stay on the road a little bit longer. I know it's been a, a month and a day, but come on. You don't want to come back home? Pop up, come on. We were gone a little over a month. The grass definitely needed some cutting. We ended up finding three different nests, all housing yellow jackets, one in the house and two in the ground. I got my windshield repaired, $500. I was not too happy about the cost of that. And the previous plans I had, they always covered something and maybe the windshield would be 100 Okay, that is gonna wrap it up for our out west trip, 6,000 miles. I'll probably do a little recap video, maybe somewhere in the middle of winter. Just talk about um, the miles, uh, the gallons of gas we used, how it was towing, some of the mistakes we made, some of the things we forgot, some of the things we brought that we really didn't need. Just a little recap, just to share some information for anybody that's thinking about taking a similar trip. We have some plans in the spring. We'll see if those pan out or not. There's some things happening down in Southern Ohio that could interrupt what we want to do. We do want to take a couple more trips with the RV, some big ones and uh, a couple small ones here and there. I appreciate everybody who watched them, made comments on them, enjoyed watching them as much as we enjoyed being on the trip. And there'll be a couple more down the road but we're gonna be going to some tractor videos next week and uh, get back into the swing of things and then see what happens down in Southern Ohio. I'll be updating you on that in a couple weeks. But I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoy and subscribe to these videos. Click on that little bell when you wanna know when a new one is coming out and uh, keep an eye on us. Take care, everybody. Beep, beep.